And we continued doing that that same less active work in my next area, um, which was Ulajima. And that was in Ehime Ken on the island of Shikoku, um, down in like the farthest corner. Um, that was also by the ocean. And actually, it smelled really bad. Like, I think it was because of the fish, but it didn't smell like fish. It smelled like like pet food. Like if you were to open a bag of cat food or dog food and like stick your face in it and just like breathe, that's what it smelled like, like almost all the time. Um, I got there towards the end of summer and I, and so then when it cooled down, it didn't smell as bad. Apparently it smelled even worse before I got there, but I thought it was really funny. Um, and Ehime Ken and Wakayama Ken are two, like two of the, um, pre prefectures that I was in are both known for mikans or mandarin oranges and so when mikan season came in Uejima we were given like boxes of mikans and we just couldn't eat them all like we would eat mikans all day every day we had um <laughs> we had a lady that we didn't know like stop our stop us on our bikes and she got out of her car and got into the back of her like harvesting truck and got out a bunch of mikans and was just like here like have have some mikans and we were like oh okay thanks like who are you and then she like and then we wanted to like try to talk to her and she was like okay there you go like and got in her car and like left and we were like okay thanks for the mikans like we already have a million at home but you're so sweet we'll eat your mikans um so that was fun okamachi no one is ever home. Housing or going from house to house is like a complete waste of time. You just get empty house after empty house after empty house. But I was too afraid to stop people on the street and talk to them. Like we would go and try to do that and it was just, I, it was so hard. So, so hard because I could say something to them but then they would respond and I have, had no idea what they were saying. Um, and then in that case, it was just because everyone was out at work or being busy but in in Gobo everyone goes to Wakayama which is like an hour bus ride north to go to work and that was in a different area and so all of the people that lived in Gobo leave and go to Wakayama and so it was like it was like there was never anyone there and um so then when I got to Uajima, which is still really rural, rural is such a weird word, but it's still really, I'm going to say Inaka, which means rural in Japanese, Inaka. It was um, still really Inaka, but more people on the streets. And because I had been deprived of people on the streets, I was just like so excited. And so I would stop and talk to everyone. And like, I remember my companion being like, dang, you're really good at this. And I was like, there's people like, I, I don't, I'm just excited to talk to people. Like, um, and I, I really like, I had nothing to do with it. I don't know. Like it was just this change that happened and it had nothing to do with me. Um, but it was really exciting. And I remember, and so that branch was also pretty small, and there were probably like um, 40 people. At this point, we had our, our new mission president, and he was really focusing on member relationships, missionary and member relationships. And so I remember I was like really trying to focus on that and make sure that I was trying to give to the members before I was trying to get. You know, like we're told to try to seek referrals. Um, cause that's the most successful way to share the gospel is people sharing with their, is just people sharing with their friends. And then you bring the missionaries in and they're like, okay, here's how it actually is. And, and, it's, um, but I feel like I hadn't learned how to do that throughout my mission. Um, and so it wasn't until I started trying to give to the members that I started getting from the mission, from the members. Um, and my, like everything changed and I I was only in that area for two transfers um, and I just I felt this huge change in the in the branch and in myself and um, 
it was just a really cool experience. We didn't have any baptisms. We didn't really even have any, um, like less active members come back. We were trying to, to reach out to them and we were, we were like able to do a lot reaching out to them, but just, um, I don't know. It was just a really good experience.